Next presenter is Miss Angela Young, and you're the current Miss Wheelchair South Carolina, correct? I am. Mm -hmm. And I am also the new coordinator for Miss Wheelchair South Carolina. I'll kind of explain how all that transpired later, too. Um, <clears throat> but so, just to kind of tell you a little bit about our uh, new organization, um, we haven't had a representative since 2003. And the 2003 representative is now living in Mississippi. <laughs> so we're kind of starting from scratch now. Um, I learned about Miss Wheelchair America about two years ago. And um, I'm one of those people that really, you know, when you were back in school, you have those really, really quiet people that kind of sit in the back and they make the good grades and you're in groups with them and you're just like, why don't they ever talk about me? Um, so, you know, when I first started this, I mulled over this for like two years and said, do I really want to do this? Um, I'm not a pageant person, I'm not a sash and crown person, I'm just, you know, the kind of in the back person. Um, so, but the more I talk to them, it's an advocacy-based organization. So they work on um, trying to get people with disabilities in the community, in the workforce, um, involved in adaptive sports. Um, one of the girls, her platform was uh, caring for the caregiver, caregiver um, because there's you know sometimes not a lot of sports for the caregivers. Um, so I applied in back in. November of 18. <laughs> um, this year's gone by way too fast. Um, and was appointed in January because there was nobody else in South Carolina that had applied. So I became what was called an independent delegate. And <clears throat> basically that just means, as my husband so eloquently put it, nobody else ran against you, so you got it. That's pretty much how that happened. <laughs> um, husbands are wonderful. Uh, they boost your self-esteem up really great. Um, but so I was, you know, the only representative for South Carolina. So that took me straight from being in, being the representative for South Carolina straight to nationals. Um, and I had my reign in, in 2019 uh, was cut short two months because I ended up with kidney stone and ended up in the hospital and all that stuff. So it was a 10 month ish reign. Um, but went to nationals. At nationals they had um, different speakers. Um, we had workshops every day. We had to do, um, to be able to compete and run, you had to come up with a speech that was one to two minutes long, memorized, um, which we were all freaking out about. Um, and you had interviews with judges, and then you had you know, the, the final <coughs> competition night um, where the winner was crowned. Uh, this year is, her name is Hillary. She is from Missouri. And she, uh, her platform is Adaptive Sports. Um, and a lot of us, it was really funny, a lot of us were from the South. And so we were going, why is your platform Adaptive Sports? Because, I mean, in Greenville, like, everything's adapt Adaptive Sports and, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, there's programs and that, that kind of stuff. And so some of us were going, why are you doing that platform? But if you think about it, probably in Missouri, they don't have that. So, um, you know, we just kind of tailored what we were passionate about um, to be our platform. Mine was, um, and the president and I kind of went back and forth about this several times because she was like, are you sure you want to work on two things for a year? I'm like, yeah, I really do. Um, so my platform was um, integrating people with disabilities into community and into the workforce as well. <clears throat> um, and so I've done events like I went to the Reedy River Duck Race, which I had never been to. I lived in Greenville my entire life, never been to it. Um, and it was, I don't know, seeing ducks go off of a thing, it was just kind of cool, um, <clears throat> off of the river. But so I've done things that 
you know, I've never done, like, I've, I've met with the lieutenant governor. I met with the mayor, um, Greenville. Um, so it's been a pretty, pretty awesome experience. Um, I would, you know, encourage you, if you work with people with disabilities that are the shy, quiet type, I mean, this was a great program. When I first got there to nationals, I'll tell you, we literally were only supposed to introduce ourselves, say our name, where we're from, and um, like an interesting fact. I couldn't even get through that. Like, I am not a public speaker at all. And I wanted to go into teaching originally. I don't, don't ask. Um, but by the end of that week, you know, I was, I was networking. I was, you know, we had to do YouTube videos and stuff um, for, not YouTube videos, um, videos about how our week was going and that kind of thing. Um, by the end of the week, I was telling the lady that was doing the videos, I don't want to go home. I'll stay here. What do you want me to do? I'll stay here. I won't go back to Grand. Because um, it was just such an awesome experience. Because when you think about it, um, people with disabilities, you know, the one thing that they want is to be accepted. The one thing they want is to, for people to understand. Um, and a lot of times, people with disabilities don't interact with other people with disabilities a lot because they they may not have a lot of people um, around them that have disabilities. My husband went to a high school where he was the only one. Now I went to jail man and there was like 40 of us. Um, and so you know some of the states some of the girls would say you know I don't have anybody that I can relate to. I don't have anybody that understands that, you know, when I get up in the morning by 12 o'clock, I'm already tired because I've pushed and I've, you know, transferred out of the bed and I've put my clothes on and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and so being able to just network with others and say, you know, okay, you actually get me um, was, was a great experience for us. So that, you know, that's kind of where I'm coming from on my, on my platform is being able to get people that have disabilities and people that don't have disabilities together and be able to network together and be able to work you know together on a common goal of you know getting people with disabilities in employment and getting um, community integration and, and things like that um, we are like I said we are a new organization um, our last First one was 2003, and so I am looking for girls that want to uh, participate. They have to be 21 or older. There's no cutoff on age. Um, I think in at nationals we had one that was I want to say 72. I want to say she'll probably kill me for <laughs> if, she's, if she's younger. Whoops, um, but. Um, so there's no there's no age limit. The only requirement requirement is that for they they need to use a wheelchair for 100 percent of their community activities, which basically means they if they go to the grocery store, if they um, go to you know work that kind of thing, you know using a the wheelchair then. Um, but if they do like you know any kind of exercise that kind of thing and, and walk and that kind of stuff. That's fine. There's been some misconceptions about that, um, but we are having our pageant actually on Sunday. Um, I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time because I'm running the thing, plus getting to take this thing off. Um, these hurt, by the way. <laughs> They're really annoying. Um, that's what all of us are saying. We're all like, we're so glad we get to put this down because they just dig in your head. Um, but they look so good. They do. They look gorgeous. And then you put it on and it's like, for, for you know, you have it on for about 20, 30 minutes. It's like, this is really annoying. How does Miss America do this? Um, you know, how does the Queen of England do this stuff? Um, but, you know, it's, it's, like I said, it's a fun experience. And um, 
people that you don't normally meet just being, you know, the average Joe, you know, I've, I've met and I've had conversations with. I'm actually um, having a conversation again with the Lieutenant Governor about doing another proclamation. They did one last year, um, but they had to kind of just make a date for the proclamation last year because I got sick <laughs> when we were supposed to do it. Um, so she's going to do another one this year um, for an observance day for people with disabilities in South Carolina. Um, the national one is in October. So we're going to do one in South Carolina. Um, the competition is at Hyatt Place. And like I said, it's on Sunday at 3. Y'all are more than welcome to come. Uh, we have, we had two girls. One dropped out. And so now we have one girl. And when I called her and said, guess what? You're it. <laughs> she was like, are you serious? I'm like, mm -hmm, you're it. Um, and so she was like, okay, so what do I need to do now? And I'm like, it, it's okay, just calm down. <laughs> Let's take this one seven time. Um, but so she's really, really excited. Her name's Jenna. Um, she's from Myrtle Beach. And she, you know, I think she's going to be great in representing our state. Um, so I'm really excited to, to finally meet her in person on Sunday. Um, so does anybody have any questions? How long is the process of, like next year when they do it, when does that person start? So I'll be taking applications in um, June. And they will start, actually our competition usually will be sometime between December and February because um, they've got to end by March 15th for them to be able to apply for nationals which applying for nationals for them they have to raise $2,000 which is actually not as hard as you would think it would be. Um, I thought it was going to be really difficult. Um, but so our competition is probably going to be in February um, because we have had some of the independent delegates have had difficulty um, getting girls because of some of them had theirs around Thanksgiving and then around Christmas and so we're trying to avoid that whole November December thing um, and so I'm thinking probably sometime around Valentine's Day ish um, weekend is probably when we'll have ours but the uh, applications will go out in June if any girls are interested they can email me um, my email is on the uh, brochure, and or they can call me either one. Um, and they have to, like I said, they have to be 21 or older. They have to use a wheelchair for. So by the time they get the application in, that's when they got to be 21. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So so I have a girl for for that's a good question. For example, I have a girl this year that wanted to apply last year, and she turns 21 in August. So. I told her the applications probably go out in June, so make sure your application is in to me, you know, not before August, but right, you know, right around your birthday is fine. Um, so as long as they're 21 when they apply, okay. then that's fine. Um, and I, you know, I don't know why we do 21, but you know. Um, because none of us can drink with the crown on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, um, you know, and just kind of a funny story from, from Nationals going on that, actually. Um, speak tonight, we're all stressed out. We're all freaking out, you know. Um, you know, you can imagine a bunch of people with, with disabilities that have no control over anything, anything lower extremities, and we're all nervous. And so, you know, people are having medical stuff going on and that kind of thing. We get done with speeches, like everybody gets done, the program's over with. Everybody is downstairs in the bar. <laughs> everybody. Not drinking, but just downstairs in the bar. And the president comes down there and she says, Are y'all better now? And we're all going, uh -huh. We're good. <laughs> We're fine. We're relaxed. We're good. Um, so you know, like I said, it's just a good networking thing. I mean, we had we had fun um, day. We had a fifties night. 
um, when I think six of us dressed up as Sandy from. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, what happened here? Did we all know each other? Um, so, but we had a 50s night, we had a Christmas in July night, um, and we had a fireworks thing uh, where we watched the fireworks on top of the, the rooftop of the hotel. Um, the $2,000 that they raised, it includes the hotel stay, the um, meals, and any kind of fun activities that uh, we do. Uh, we went to the Clinton Museum. We went to, where else did we go? See, it was in July. I can't remember anymore. Um, we went to the State House. Um, and so, you know, when you look at the schedule of the first day, you would think, I am not going to have any free time to do anything. I can't even, I won't have time to breathe. Um, but it's actually kind of, it, it's a really fun week, it's a really fun event. Um, and I'm hoping that the South Carolina competition kind of turns out to be a mini national so that they can prepare for nationals. Because um, the girl I got now is going, I've seen national videos, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, yeah, but that's next year, so let's just, let's, let's calm down. <laughs> you know, um, because it's, it's a jam-packed week and it was, it was pretty stressful. Um, but it was also really fun, so we'll see how the South Carolina program goes. If you know anybody that wants to be on the board um, and help me out, I have me right now, mm -hmm. literally, that's it. Um, if you know any girls that want to participate, you know, I have a lot of referrals for girls and, and that kind of thing. Yes. So now that um, your reign is going to be over, but you're still going to coordinate this for the state mm -hmm. um, from now on, is that right? Mm -hmm. Right. When, when you are an independent delegate for a state, you automatically, at the end of it, get to be over everything. Um, which, you know, I thought was a scary thing at first. And I was like, you know what, I kind of like this in charge thing just because I get to run it the way I want it and get to prepare girls for how nationals is versus the way I was, where I was just kind of thrown into everything and going, what in the world am I supposed to do? Because um, the lady that actually was helping me out, she she was from California, so she was calling me at like 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, and then she just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth, um, like in the middle of my reign. So, you know, I had nobody like halfway through my reign. And so it's nice to be able to, you know, tell this girl exactly how things are going to go and, you know, so hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll go good and we'll get more girls. I think next year I've at least got two that want to do it next year, but we'll see what happens. So. Hey Angel, when you, when the, when you start, if you send me something about for the recruitment part of that or whatever, mm -hmm. I can put it in my little monthly e-blast that okay. I send out um, and maybe that can help. Okay. Increased okay. recruitment, but just send me like it's like a picture and some text and like who up and where, okay. you know, or whatever, and I can stick it in there. Okay. Any other questions for Angela? This has got to be fun to say your brain and yeah. wear a crown. So, <laughs> and for five dollar <laughs> donation to yeah. Miss Wilcher, she'll let you wear the crown. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Y'all, let's give Angela a big yeah. hand.